Pisces, you guys. Last. I know you guys are always last. And it's your guys' turn for a uh, new moon in Aquarius read. If you like the channel, absolutely like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload another video. Let's tap into your energy. There's this need here to be quiet. I don't know why. Why is there like you're wanting to be quiet? All right, I'm going to use Moonology deck, Moonology Manifestations, and then we're going with Crow Tarot, so let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, and just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity. Any messages needing to come through for the collective sign of Pisces for this, their new moon in Aquarius read. She's a standing man. That's funny. There's the dogs next door are howling because there's a siren going by. Like, there's, okay, there's an energy of being quiet on the outside while inside, like, sirens are going off. Like, you're wanting to speak, but you have to be quiet about it. And see that? Dogs are quiet. One more shuffle. All right. All right, don't keep those. All right, one off the top, one off the bottom. Here we go. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Off the bottom. Hold your vision, fixed moon. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <coughs> wow. There's been an overarching theme all evening about temper tantrums. And about a sense of entitlement. I don't feel like it's so much a sense of entitlement, but a sense of why do I have to do that? Okay. Let's go to the Monology Manifestation deck. It's like putting your feet in the dirt. <laughs> not wanting to move forward, not wanting to go backwards, but digging your feet in. No. Like you don't want to do something. Last quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less, feel more. There you go. There you go. Now, okay. <laughs> Oh god, this is funny. Okay, now it's funny because it's I find it funny because I, I guess we have a Shakespeare theme going on tonight too. Now the Shakespeare thing <laughs> I studied Shakespeare in high school. I love Shakespeare. Okay, listen. The one thing about Shakespeare was that he played with communication between individuals. Whereas simple misunderstanding can prevent you from like it will prevent you from stepping forward or you're thinking the worst is going to happen because you're misunderstanding like the signals that are to be given to you and he played with that so much that's what was so interesting about it because it was the interconnection speeches and um, communication between people and how misunderstandings can play out and I feel like there's a thing here where it's like um, this fear of being accepted, this fear of, if I go and talk, they won't listen. It's, and if I'll have all these things to say and I don't want to say them. Okay. Listen, listen, <laughs> uh, I love that little boy that says, listen, Linda, listen, 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 Linda, talk less, feel more. You don't have to say anything. Feel your way through this because I don't feel like you have to say anything. Like there's this thing here of first quarter moon 
First quarter moon in Taurus. Release control. You see that? I start tripping over my own words. You're wanting to control a situation. You want to control it down to the detail. You're going to have to put your hands off the wheel. You are. You're just going to have to put your hands off of it. New moon in Pisces. Attuned to the, to the divine. You see? I keep tripping over my own words. You're trying to form a speech in your head and you can't do it. And these are all blue cards. You're in your emotions. You're too much in your emotions. You're not going to be able to say anything. Sometimes you don't have to say anything. You really don't. And this could be friends, could be family, it could be romantic partner. It, it doesn't matter. Sometimes you don't have to say anything. The biggest, the best gesture that I've ever, <laughs> I've ever seen has been no talking, no explanation, but just someone leaning their head on somebody else's shoulder and just crying. Or it's simple as a hug. You don't have to say anything. It's that. But it's this whole thing about you can get lost in your head about what's going to happen, but you don't know what's going to happen until you step out. There's very there's a lot of water here. Look, it's blue. Taurus in the middle, that's earth sign, but it can be very bullheaded. That's the bull. Stubborn, putting your feet in the dirt. I'm not doing that. Oh, God. And I feel like with the I'm not doing that thing, it's it's something as simple as take a step forward. That's all you got to do. The opposite of fear, the enemy of fear is love. The enemy of doubt and worry is faith. more shuffle but it's I'm laughing because it's as simple as just take the step that's all you gotta do it's like one step You're just scared to death to do this. Page of Pentacles. Student, learn something new about yourself. You didn't think you were scared of anything, hermit. But you'd rather bury your head in the sand right now. Emperor. So, that's the thing. You thought... See, that's... Okay, I'm going to get back to the Emperor. Because I have two different stories here. Queen of Swords, stay in your own power. <laughs> But you're stuck. Hangman. Listen. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Nine of Wands. Very defensive. On the defensive. Three of Wands. And there's a sense of waiting here. Seven of Cups. Confusion. So many choices that it's confusing to you. Like, overwhelming. What do I do? What do I do? What do I say? How do I do it? How do I, what, 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 what? And it's like so confusing that it'll cause you to completely shut down and be in this stuck position. Three of Cups. <laughs> oh, God. I'm laughing because it's as simple as stepping forward. Death card. This is transformation. This is change. Look, Three of Cups energy is... It doesn't necessarily have to be another person. It could be you that's the Three of Cups. It could be your own fear. It's anything, anything or anyone, any situation that feels that they are entitled to be in the middle of your relationship. It's a third party. It could be friends. It could be family. It could be your job, your career. It could be yourself, your own fears. It could be your pride. Your ego could be a third party. Let's go back to the emperor, okay? The emperor here, I get two different things from this. You thought you were in the emperor energy. You know what the emperor is? The emperor's got their shit together. They're the embodiment of all four kings. And they got all their shit together. 
And the emperors never apologize. They don't have to. It's their shit. What do they apologize for? The emperor never asked for audience with anyone. They asked for audience with them. Until there's a person. And then you figured out that they were more intimidating than you are. <coughs> I think you're only afraid of this one person. And you want audience with them. You do. But you are intimidated by what they will say to you. Because they're more of an emperor energy than you are. At least in your eyes. So... <coughs> you're thinking that you're this intimidating force and everything happens for me and this is for me and this is about me and then this person this is what happens when you fall in love with someone <laughs> this does <laughs> you become intimidated by them you know why because they're the only person that can hurt you so, you're coming to the realization like, I, I was supposed to be this person. I was supposed to be this person, but they really are. Then you're wanting to stand your own power, this Queen of Swords, but you're getting stuck because you're afraid of what they're going to say. You're afraid of rejection. You're afraid they're going to look at you and go, and... They're the only person who can see you through your bullshit. When you love somebody and you have a connection like that, they can. They're the only person that has your back, but they're the only person that can see through you. So, you, you can't even stand in your own power around this person. That's why you're so stuck, because you thought you were the emperor. And then you figured out that someone else intimidates you. That's why you're confused. The third party here, I'm still leaning towards its ego. Because you're going through an ego death right now. That's why the two cards come out like this. Ego death. A lesson in humility. Aquarius got that. This is the same thing. It's... it's Starts out with a lesson in humility, ends up with a lesson in humility. But a lesson in humility of love. And always being to the point of... That's the other thing. Um, I wrote something in my journal. It was about intimacy and... Two things go hand in hand. Intimacy... I cannot forget. I cannot remember the other thing. But it's about being naked, uh, soul naked, with someone, and being open to that rejection, and it, it's that's where the divine masculine, divine feminine work together within us when we are together with someone like that, because we accept their authenticity, and we give them acceptance. And it's vice versa. So it's... <laughs> you know that you love somebody when you're scared to death to go to them and tell them something. Where you're intimidated. And you're just like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. And you would rather stay stuck for a minute. Be but you're going through this ego death. You are. Like, the door is opening. Things are being righted. And if you're not going to step out of your comfort zone, which you're not doing that at the moment because you're fighting and arguing with yourself. That's all you're doing. But this should be an indication of how much you love this person. I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you a story. And this this is what this reminds me of. I swear to you, this is what it reminds me of. Years ago, my late husband and I rented from, we rented this house from the same landlord for like 10 years. Okay. We went through a financial hard time. We ended up selling our shed to him to basically pay back the rent that we owed him. And we owned the shed. Now, my late husband at the time said you could get the shed without the lights. The lights are completely, like, that's out of the question. 
but I did the wiring in the shed. I did all the stuff in the shed. It should be worth more than that. Well, of course, landlord underbid us, so he could, you know, it's just, it's fine. But the lesson comes that I'm sharing with you is that we were expecting the lights because we were going to sell the lights and then have money to kind of build ourselves up and get us out of this hole. Landlord shows up demanding the lights because he felt the lights came with the shed and said that he could throw us out anytime we wanted to unless we handed him the lights. So, and he was yelling at my mother and getting her involved in it. I'm yelling back. I end up giving the lights over. Now, my cousin looked at me and said, <laughs> what are you going to tell big man? <laughs> I went, I, oh God, I don't know. <laughs> I hid that from him for a good two years, two, three years. I think it was longer than that. <laughs> I waited until right before we moved out and he was like, whatever happened to my lights? Cause I gave him this bullshit line because I knew I, I just, I, <laughs> I knew either he would get mad at me or he would get mad at the situation. He'd get mad at the landlord. You know, I just couldn't tell him. I couldn't tell him. I swear I couldn't tell him. So when I did tell him the truth, he looked at me, <laughs> six foot four, 400 pounds across the table. He looked at me and went, why didn't you tell me? And I said, I, I, this is how this feels, but you get stuck. And like, it's there, it's constantly. Now it's not something that you're hiding from them, but it's, it's that you don't want the rejection. Like I didn't want him to get mad at me because I gave the lights over because I mean, it was a big blowout and he was starting to throw us out anyway, even after getting in the shed and you know, our mother was involved, you know, but this is kind of like that. Like, it's kind of like to the point of, I'm intimidated. I don't know what they're going to say to me if I go to them and talk to them. But you only, like, you only do that with someone that you really love. Like, you get to that point of, because anybody else that you didn't care about, that you don't care about, you don't give two shits what you say to them. Because it's not like you're going to talk to them tomorrow. Like, you don't care. I think that's why it's intimidating to you because it's the first person that you're like, uh, uh, and you don't know what to say. That's what made you, that's what's making you stuck. Like any other time I can handle the situation. Any other time I can do this. Any other time I can do that. I can do this. I can do that. But now it's, <laughs> it just, look, the door is open to set things right. In order for you to walk through the door, you're going to have to take the step. So stop cementing your feet to the ground and get moving. Time's a ticking here. Go through the ego death and close out the cycle. That's all you gotta do. You go through the ego death, close out the cycle, walk through the door. <laughs> Don't worry about what they would say. I'm telling you when I said, when I told him what happened to those lights, I was shaken. I wasn't expecting him to yell and throw a fit at me, but I thought that he would have gotten so hurt. I mean, he cried the day we had to give up the shed. That wasn't the thing. I didn't want to hurt him. Like, I didn't want it to be like I had betrayed him by doing that. That's why I was afraid to tell him. And he, he was just like, wow, what happened? And he was like, if you had told me that then, I would have taken care of it. Like, but he would have gone to the landlord and he would have taken care of it a different way. I was trying to do things behind the scenes, not get him involved. You know, I didn't want, you know, the whole thing to blow up. But this, and it, and I knew I was safe telling him that. It's just I kept it from him because I just felt like I had betrayed his trust by giving the lights away because we had plans for the lights and it would have financially taken care of us. And see, that's the thing is that if this person is intimidating you right now because your heart's involved. You truly love this person. So even though you have seen yourself in the past as emperor, that you have control over the situation, you really don't. They do. And you're afraid of this rejection. 
go through this ego death and all you gotta do is step out of your comfort zone and take a step you don't even have to say anything you don't even have to say anything it's not about talking it's about feeling your way through it stay in tune because if you love them that much they love you that much and I can feel that but at the same time you'll know each other's you know that the unspoken and I mean when he sat there after the whole light thing he goes I knew something else had happened you lied about that I knew the moment that you said that you lied but I figured there was a reason why you lied and that's why that's why he said he said because you never lied to me before you never have and he said there was another reason I knew there was another reason but don't allow this to get you stuck like I said the door is open it's new opportunity to get things right allow this ego death to happen it's very painful it is. <laughs> it's very painful congratulations your ego is dying so for the collective sign of Pisces this is your new moon Aquarius read love and light